we're at the Velodrome in Marymore Park. Just kind of chilling and wanting to talk about a few things. Let's talk about belts. Hey everybody, what's up? Yeah, that person, Chris here. We're at the Velodrome in Marymore Park. Just kind of chilling and wanting to talk about a few things. Let's talk about belts. I hear people, here. I see people mention all the time on Reddit, uh, questions about belts. Should my belts have broke already? I just have got my board. I've only have a hundred miles on it, etc. So let's talk about it. First, belts are a consumable product. You will wear them, you will go through them. Two things you should purchase as soon as you get your boosted board, a helmet and more belts. Um, just expect to go through them. But now let's go on to point two. Why do we go through belts? Well, one, <laughs> well the first reason we go through belts is normally because you're running over trash. You're running over rocks and pebbles. You're running over sticks. Maybe you're going through the grass. That's the biggest killer on belts. They fly up underneath the boards, they can hit the belts. You can hit a rock, it can nick it. You can also have trash actually get up into the belt system somehow, where it slides into a little hole and then gets in between your belt and the pulleys. This can cause the rock to embed in the pulley or push through the belt or both. When you're changing your belts, you need to make sure you don't have any rocks stuck in your pulleys. But basically, if you watch where you're riding and try to stay out of the trash, you'll do a little bit better. Some of the places you see them is on the side of the roads. Yeah, the bike lanes where we ride. All those cars flying by and they're pushing that trash and debris into the bike lane. And then we run through it and it tears up our belts. So be a little more conscious of where you're driving, where you're riding, and that can help make a difference in your belt life. The other thing that can help make a difference in your belt life is keeping proper tension. You need to make sure your belts are, are tight enough but not too tight. If your belts are too tight, it's gonna strain the tensils in the belts, causing them to break apart. And this leads to premature failure. Also, if your belts are too loose, they're gonna slip under braking and they're gonna slide all around that pulley. And that's gonna wear the teeth down and tear the belts apart and you're gonna have premature belt failure. One of the other common ways that belts get worn, besides normal wear, is hard accelerating or braking. If you're slamming, on the thumb wheel to take off fast or you're coming up to places really fast and constantly slamming on them brakes you're putting a lot of tension on them belts adjusting the way that you take off and the way that you brake could be a big help you could try by when taking off pushing or coming to a brake dragging your feet but honestly just a slow roll on that throttle wheel is going to be a lot better than jamming the brakes Obviously, if somebody pulls out in front of you or does something stupid, you need to do what you need to do. But basically, you can increase your belt life just by adjusting the way you scroll that throttle wheel. And finally, one of the other things that can really prematurely cause your belts to fail is if you're constantly getting them wet. Now, they are rubber, but they're also neoprene and the fibers that are in them, and it's all put together like a little sandwich as you see here. Well, you know wetsuits are made of neoprene, so are beer koozies, and sometimes flip-flops are. If you've ever gotten any of those things wet, you know that the neoprene likes to suck up that water. Well, when it sucks that water up into the belts, this can break the chemical bonds and the glues that help bind the layers together. When this happens, you got it, premature belt failure. So you can simply do just a few really easy things Avoid water, avoid trash. Use the uh, accelerator and the brake wheel a little bit more generously. Those things right there and staying on top of your belt tension can help you get more miles out of your belt. Totally possible to trash a pair of belts in 50 miles. It's possible. And it's totally possible to stretch a set of belts out for a thousand or two thousand miles. I've seen people do it. I've never hit a thousand. I think my, my, <laughs> my record's about 500. And I think I've killed some in about 50, 60 miles. And it was totally the way I was skating led to both of them. So make your adjustments. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment below, and let me know some of your belt stories.
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm dropping cool videos all the time. You want to make sure you hit that bell so you get alerts when I put out a new video just like this one.